Hi and welcome back. Today I am going to do a video on what's in my Robin Hood portfolio. So if you are interested, go ahead and stick around. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. And right now, Webull is currently offering two free stocks. One when you sign up and one more when you deposit $100. If you are interested, go ahead and check the link down below. And I just started a Patreon page. I know I am just a new YouTuber, but I want to be able to help people grow their accounts. I have experience with options, selling options, penny stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks. So just about anything that I've learned in the past year. And I have my ups and downs already. And I know that there are ways to make home runs. And also we want to be able to preserve our winnings. So... If you guys are interested, go ahead and check out the link down below as well. So let's get started. I currently have $36,773. Let's just take a look at my one year. So one year, I am up $16,820. And I just started last year. So we can see my all in one year is the same, almost the same, like $3 more. And you can see that I had many downs. So here, October, I was down 12,000. And I will give you a little more about that. And it's back in October, Tesla. I bought some Tesla options. It was at the money. It was around it was around 500 strike price, I believe. And so the option cost me roughly $8,000 at the time. And it went down. It went down so much. I thought it was going to expire worthless until they announced that they were going to go into the S&P 500 and then exploded. And once it hit, once I broke even on that, I just sold it. I could have easily made a lot more, but that was a risk I didn't want to take. So you can see that was really down. And then another time just recently here, another call option I did were Zoom call options they were going to expire worthless as well. I bought seven call options. Initially, I bought them at the money and then they became out of the money and then they became at the money, but it's already lost a lot of value because they were going to expire in February 19, which is next week. So I got rid of them at a loss, a $5,000 loss. So $5,000 was better than losing the entire amount, which was going to be $18,000. I didn't want to risk it until expiration dates because you know how that goes. The closer it is to expiration dates, the more the value it loses. The majority of the wins were from AMC skyrocketed on, Jul on January 27th when it went up to $20. I had leap calls that I had bought back in December. I like holding, I like buying and holding most of my stocks and options. So I like buying leap calls. And so it exploded. I made roughly $10,000 on just seven options that were deep in the money. So when you're buying call options, you buy leap call options, you wanted them to be deep in the money. Right now, I still have AMC puts so i'm not i didn't buy amc puts i sold amc puts so when i'm selling amc i am bullish on the stock and i'm selling it because i rather now i've learned i've learned from my mistakes i rather keep the premium than paying for the premium when you buy call options you do not know which way the stock will go that is a gamble at least with selling a cash secure puts it's what it's called cash secure puts if the option expires worthless or in the money i get to keep the premium no matter what happens to the outcome and you see the average credit i was able to receive 36 dollars times three since i have three, three contracts that gave me a total of 108 dollars and 
premium and credits that I got to keep up front. And as we can see, AMC, this is a five strike price and it expires next week. So what is this saying is if AMC, which the price right now is at $554, does not hit $5 or below, I will get the collateral will be released back to me. So you do need the collateral. So how do you calculate collateral is you multiply 100 by the strike price. So since I have three contracts, it's 1500. So I was able to make $100 off of $1500 of collateral. That is released back to me if AMC stock price is higher than $5 on expiration dates. If it's not, I would have to buy 100 shares of AMC at $5. Even if the stock price is below that, I still have to buy at $5, which is fine because I don't mind holding on to AMC at $5. So since I have three contracts, I would have to buy 1,500 shares if, only if, AMC stock price is below $5. And then I have more here. It's a $550. And I was able to collect $58 on a $500, um, $550 investment. It's, it's a collateral. You just need to have it in your accounts. And then Global Star, $40 on one contract. So I was able to collect $80. And $80 on a $400 collateral. I should have sold more of this cash to care put on Global Star because I was able to make $40 on one contract. So that's a good way to generate extra money. Nano Dimension, same thing. I was able to collect $130, but I had to put up $1,250. And then Sensionics, same thing, $25 I collected, and all I needed to put up was $200 in collateral. More Sensionics, Jag X, I was able to get $70 times two, that's $140, and all I needed to put up was $500. This one expires March though, but that's okay. And then these are my big winners here. They were my big winners. I had 10 contracts, but I only got rid of seven when the AMC went up to seven, went up to $20. So you can see. I am still up $649. My average cost is $127. This is a leap call. So I have AMC, 200 shares, Nucola, 135 shares, Vaxar, 500 shares, and then some Party City, some other shares I have one share of. And then Blackberry, I have with my average of $1767. It's fine. Not too worried. Nokia, $557. So with these stocks, I don't mind that they're shares because they don't expire worthless. And then Sundial, 250 is my cost average. So there you go, guys. This is my entire portfolio. I hope to update it video every week, maybe possibly every day, because it keeps me accountable. Because I don't want to lose money. I want to be able to grow this account, possibly... To 100,000. If you got this far, let me know. Do you think it's possible to grow a $36,000 account to $100,000 by not YOLOing? No, I don't want to YOLO my entire account because there is a possibility I can end up losing this. I want to be able to do it not too conservative, but not too crazy. Something that I can find a balance with. So let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching and do consider the Patreon page. I will try my best to help you guys grow your accounts. Thanks a lot.